A new package of bills aimed at curtailing car thefts are now, as Governor Phil Murphy says, the law of the land. For so many of us, our cars are our lifeline. So to have it stolen can have terrible consequences for families and completely upend their lives. The new laws signed by the governor Friday in Long Branch expand criminal penalties relating to the illegal use of a master key and software used to start cars, give prosecutors more ability to seek harsher sentences, and eliminate the presumption of pretrial release for certain car theft offenses if a prior arrest or conviction happened within a 90-day period. These bills find the right balance of sentencing guidelines that send a message and strike at the heart of the problem. These laws are on top of giving police more tools to go after car theft rings like auto license plate readers. The Garden State had seen an increase in auto thefts for three years straight, including more than 15,000 thefts last year. We've had every possible resource made available to combat what was a growing challenge. Governor Murphy publicly expressed his support for the legislation going back to last fall, a time in the Garden State when auto thefts began to inch down. We saw a 10% decrease in auto thefts for the last four months of 2022 as compared to the same months in 2021 and from January through May of this year and that's the latest month for which we have data we saw another 10 percent decrease in auto thefts again compared to the same period last year. Combined with more vigilance on the home front officials hope to change perceptions about car theft in Jersey. We are fully committed to helping law enforcement deter car thefts and hold those who commit these crimes accountable. In Long Branch, Jim Vassell, Pix 11 News.